the art of dreaming event. Great art, great people, and great food too. I'm very happy to see the community come together, you know, caring about our students, our undocumented students. As you know, all the paintings here are going to be donated for the Emergency Scholarship Fund, so I'm very happy and proud of you guys. Thank you. You too, Tip. I just felt like it was really inspirational. You know, there was a lot of families here, which I really enjoyed because I even brought my own little sister and my mother. And I feel like that's what, um, you know, just being Mexican is all about, is, you know, having your family around you to support you. I drew a cactus. To me, it kind of represents that, you know, I may be Mexican, I don't know Spanish, so like all these little picos are all around it, you know, so like represent how, you know, that pain that I kind of feel sometimes with not knowing uh, the language. But um, it doesn't like let me, you know, shy down. It kind of, I still get to bloom from it. And everyone's here just having a good time, you know, painting what they feel like expressing and, uh, and it's just a good old time, you know, get to conversate with other people. I thought it was amazing being able to paint and express your feelings as much as other people. And um, just the whole thing with expressing yourself was awesome. Um, I believe uh, education is a priority because there's a lot of people out there that don't really know what, who we are, what we stand for, and what we do. Uh, we really need to educate our faculty and our community so they understand that we're not here to take your job or to take your anything. We're here just as everybody else, trying to gain something for ourselves, make a name for ourselves, and work towards our common goal, that it's be good, be wealthy, be whatever you want to do in this country. We're, we're looking for the same dream that everybody else out here is looking for. I gained a, a wider perspective on uh, understanding immigration and, and the struggles that many of our students and, and fellow Americans endure. And it was an awesome opportunity to, to you know, be able to see it through a lot of different people. Uh, without the center, I would still be pretty shy. Um, I'm a shy person overall, but like uh, knowing a lot of people here, it kind of brought me out, kind of talked to a lot of people. And it's really expanded um, my opportunities. I, I, got a, I had an internship back in the summer, so uh, without the center, I don't think that would have been possible. Here is like everyone that comes in is you know that they're in the exact same position as you, and you can relate on a personal level, and it's just very comforting. Um, I wanted to see amazing art. Uh, I want to see people come together. I just think that events like these are crucial for our society, just because it brings the community together, but also at the same time. Historically speaking, art and entertainment have always transcended any political strife that we've had. My relationship to the undocumented community, um, I mean, half of my neighborhood undocumented. Um, myself, my brother, we're first generation to the city and this country, but um, you know, our best friends were undocumented. Um, we have cousins who are undocumented, and it's something that we live with, and it's, you know, it's fears and you know, worries that we have that we can't always we don't experience them personally, but we see it every day. You know, we walk out the we walk out the door, and that's just a reality that we face. You know, we see them facing every day, and you know, we sometimes you just feel powerless. Uh, but that's what events like these can really do. They bring power to people who feel like they they don't have any.